All right, hey everyone, welcome to Nga. Um, I really should be doing homework, but I feel like doing this thing right now. I had a wave of inspiration last week to create a Conlang speedrun game, right? Um, I created a set of rules and, uh, and a few links to go to certain websites or whatever to, you know, basically create a Conlang that you can make sentences with, like functional, as quickly as possible. Now, obviously, like, you know, doing something like this, it wouldn't have, like, the level of soul in it that something that I've been working on for a long time, like Autojune, would have. Because, you know, this is like going to websites, randomly generating a list of words, and then going for it from there. Um, but it's something, and I think it's something really fun, and it's really cool, especially, like, you know, if you know linguistics and stuff like that. I think this is a fun thing to do if you're bored and you just want to, like, slap a conlang real quick. And I did one, um, like, last week, and it was pretty cool. And I, <laughs> I tried to get my girlfriend to do it. And, uh... <laughs> nah. I'm trying to come up with a conlang speedrun. <coughs> Okay, I see how it is. Uh -huh. And this is and all then, from Swadesh? Yep. Exhuman, right? Exhuman, yeah. Ubi, exhuman. Exhuman. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Language. You're doing language. <laughs> You're... Yeah, um... Y you should know linguistic stuff before you do it. But it's still fun, and it's still cool, and I'm about to do it again right now, just to show how it goes. And I'm gonna time myself this time, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be pretty epic, all right? So, brief pause while I get everything set up. So I've got all the links open, right? We're, we're gonna do this, it's gonna happen, it's gonna be cool. I've got the little big monitor thing set up. I'm gonna have the timer, I'm gonna have the timer going right up there as soon as I start. And we're just gonna see how long it takes. I'm, I'm gonna try and go relatively speedy, but I'm hoping that other people will, you know, take my format and update it and try and do versions of it on their own, right? So I'm gonna leave the text of this in the description of this video, and I'm also probably gonna put it on like a website of some sort if you can't access it normally through, you know, the description of the video. So I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna see what happens, all right? Let me open up the link and start the timer, and then we shall commence. Stopwatch. And go! Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna choose the phonology. Where is our... There we go. Alright, we need six changes from the original. Now, we are going to say... All right, I need to roll a dice to see what val what pattern we're gonna get. So we're gonna go to the dice rolling app. We're gonna roll a d6, and I get four. And four on here is CV, CVN, CVN. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting structure. All right, there we go. It suggests doing 5,000 words on here with a new line each, and filter the duplicates, generate. All right, oh God. That is disgusting. King long. I, I guess it's possible. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. All right, so select all. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna open up Excel. Probably should have had that open in the beginning, but it's okay. We are, everything is fine. All right, so we're gonna open this up. We're going to make a little table right here. We're gonna go kaboom. Look at that, we got 5,000 words. All right, next we are going to go and we are going to apply five phonological changes so we're going to take that list and we're going to go to the sound change applier we're going to get rid of all these rules that are on here and we are going to slap that in the input lexicon we are going to take the categories that we got on the awkwards generator and we'll remove these from the list because i want to create situations where the gemination can't happen and same thing for the vowels. I want it to be so that the long vowels can be eliminated somehow. Is before the end of a word. Now we're going to apply those sound changes. And we have a bunch of cool little sound changes right here. If we have MMM is going to turn to M in any situation. NNN is going to turn to NN. Well, yeah, double N's. Yeah, MM. 
gonna turn to N right there. Now we're going to reapply those changes wherever the little apply thing is gone. Hey, Mr. Apply Changes, where have you disappeared to? There you go. Boom. All right, so that hopefully has fixed the majority of those things. All right, so now we're gonna select all of those. I only need like a little more than 100, so I might actually stop relatively soon. We're, we're gonna put it in and we are going to accept it. How many words is that? Oh yeah, cool, that's that's far enough. I only needed a thousand maximum. Now we are going to go to one of Wiktionary's Swadesh lists. That right, that's right. We're going to the Wikipedia appendix for Swadesh lists and I'm literally going to pick a Swadesh list. I feel like today, I think I'm going to pick, how about a Basque Swadesh list? All right, cool. We're going and we're selecting paste that. Boom, look at that. So now all these words have definitions paired with them. Cool, so that's a significant step forward. Next, we are going to say, um, what's the next on the list? We are going to have categories for verbs, nouns, and adjectives, and adjectives, adjectives and adverbs. All right, so now we need to roll a D6. All right, so Mr. D6 says, all right, five. In fixes, isn't that great? Isn't that just awesome? All right, cool. So that means that I need to make categories for verbs, noun, adjectives, and adverbs in the form of infixes. Oh, there, just, just basic. We might have to make it more com complicated in a sec. All right, word order. We're gonna roll for the word order. What is our word order going to be? Number three. Word order number three is V-O-S. Okay, so just like Auto-June, I guess. Next, we are going to decide whether it's nominative, accusative, or ergative, absolutive. Oh, please don't do this to me. Fuck. I mean, yeah, bad word. It is ergative, absolutive. Kill me. I should really make that more of like a more likely to be nominative accusative, but it's too late. We're ergative absolutive. Oh god. Alright, now are we gonna be synthetic or analytic? Cool. Okay, I can I can accept that. We're analytic. A little weird for an ergative language to be analytic, but I'm going to accept that in stride because it makes my life a lot easier. Alright. Now, um, we don't need to make any of those markers. Now, verb conjugation, none, number tense, number tense. Okay, we're gonna roll the dice. All right, back to a D6. Six, we are going to mark just tense. What tenses are we going to have? We roll and we get a four. And a four means it's got past, present, and future. All right, all right, grammatical numbers. Are gonna be singular and plural, singular, dual plural, single, pocket plural, single, plural, collect two, singular and plural. Thank you. Adjective and noun agreement. Oh, oh no, we're not. Oh no, we're not. Cool, cool, thank you. All right, nice. All right, articles. Are we gonna have none? Are we gonna have definite, definite, indefinite, definite, indefinite, and demonstrative? One. No articles. Cool. All right, aspects. D4, four, for sure. All right, cool. D6. That is going to be one. We have perfective. Five. We have habitual. Six. Simple. I guess we have to mark simple then. Three. Imperfective. Moods. What kind of moods are we gonna have? We're gonna roll D4 to find out. We get a one. Inferential. Almost done. We're gonna name the language by rolling a D1000 and choosing from my list. Numtam. Cool. I'm okay with that. That's a pretty cool name. All right, and now the last part of the speed run, we have all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. <sighs> Every time there's not a word that we need for this translation, we are going to make it from the word list. Okay, towards one another. We're gonna just call that human to human. Pafa bon fem. All right, we're in the final stretch. Now I just gotta rearrange this. And I think that's it, right? There's nothing else I have to do for the, the ergative, right? Um, so that should really be pafa mamu, pafa. Uh, I am going to stop the timer right there. So in 33 minutes and seven seconds, I am able to say in my new language, Nun Pam, Pa Tumaliken Lunison Pafa Derian Kelin Tala Pafa Motem Gefifun Kemelo Pafa Mamilu Lam Gem Dalum Pafa Nom Sem Tumdi Toma Con Lusai Kedo Labin Kedo Lam Gem Sum Dem Pafa Bom Fam Tumdi. And that's the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Oh my god.
Oh my god. Okay, cool. I did it. I did it. I made a conlang in 33 minutes and 7 seconds using my guidelines. Um, see if you can beat my time, make your own videos of it, um, roast me on the way that I did it, and uh, comment ways that I can make it better. That would be nice. Um, I'd like to see if you guys could use my system or make your own systems and try and do your own conlang speed runs and maybe get it done quicker than I can. So, uh, a, a challenge accepted or just a amusing one-time meme. I need to go bang, do homework and stuff and then edit this. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Yeah, so I'm gonna probably release this video on Tuesday still, but after that I'm going to start moving my upload schedules to either Friday evening or Saturday morning as per what people have told me would be logical in the comments and in my Instagram chat and whatever. So fun times. Isn't this great? This is a fun time. Keep on conlanging and please, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Still trying to get to a thousand. That would be fun. Anyway, until next time, everyone. Agma schwa. Popping a GG. Doing some homework. Doing all that g Gucci. Gucci gang content. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>